Hey everybody, welcome to Burtech. In this episode, I'm gonna be reviewing Logitech's K845's Illuminated Mechanical Keyboard, and I'm gonna be giving some thoughts on mechanical keyboards. All right, welcome back. So, I have been on the fence for a mechanical keyboard for a long, long time. Most of the time, I usually just use the Apple keyboards and the Apple keyboards have a fairly low profile. And one of the things that I've learned over the years is I really like using a numpad. And the numpad is something that I almost can't uh, 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 go without anymore. In fact, I used to use a MacBook Air for my, uh, my home computer. Uh, but it doesn't have a numpad, so I switched to a PC, and I really do like the numpad, because if I need to do some kind of accounting or anything like that, the numpad really does work here. The other thing is that a lot of people said they like mechanical keyboards, and I remember trying one for a, a little bit of time, and it was, it was okay, but it wasn't really amazing. So I decided on my PC that I would get a mechanical keyboard, so I did a bunch of research, and as you know, I'm a huge fan of Logitech. They have really good bang for your buck, um, uh, equipment and I decided to purchase this one here. Now, if you don't know what a mechanical keyboard is, a mechanical keyboard uh, has a lot more um, uh, a lot more distance in between the key itself and the and, and pushing it down here. And if you didn't know this, there's a bunch of different kinds of um, uh, different kinds of switches you can get here. Uh, so they all have different properties here. And so, for example, um, the thing is is that if you are in some kind of a high precision environment like gaming. Uh, where um, you know your APM really does matter, uh, then you can actually uh, get one of these here. So basically you have red, which is kind of like your standard. Uh, it makes a little bit of noise, uh, even though it says it's kind of quiet, it, it really isn't as much here. Uh, blue gives a, a click sound, brown is probably the quietest, and then you also have these cherry ones here, which are again red and blue, uh, which are used for high performance here. Now I personally got this one here. Now I wish I had uh, purchased the brown one, and I'll talk about that in a second here. But the, the keys actually feel really good here. And the other thing is that it has all of these uh, these lighting effects here, which I think is really cool. Um, you know, uh, so you have the, these randoms here. Now I could show you on the keyboard because the keyboard is like literally right next to me here. Uh, but you know, they have all of these different um, uh, they have all these different kind of lighting things here, and I think it's really good. I think I just put mine on the static one, uh, and all you do is you push the function and F12 here. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this keyboard, I guess, is that it doesn't have a calculator button. My last keyboard had a calculator button because I I'm always trying to 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 crunch the numbers as I run my own business here. But nevertheless, um, the thing is is that. Um, I actually really do like typing on this. And for the most part, I'm thinking about getting a different kind of keyboard for my Mac here. Now, there is a big problem with this. Um, the, the thing is, is that if you do a lot of tutorials, uh, you will start to see, I mean, that's pretty noisy, right? So you'll start to see and hear that versus, you know, if I do this, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not as much here. So I would go with the brown one here because apparently that um, is, is, the, uh, is the quietest one. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it does feel pretty good here. Um, the thing is, is that some of these keyboards are kind of cheap and they have, you know, they're kind of plastic here, but it has aluminum or aluminum design here. It actually feels quite sturdy. It feels uh, like a, a very good keyboard here. And again, it's it's not one of these keyboards that's gonna break your bank, which is what I love about Logitech here. And so as you can see, it also looks really good too. Um, I have to say, I really do like it here. And if you're the kind of person that eats in front of your keyboard, which you probably shouldn't do, uh, but like if you're the, that kind of person here, it actually is easier to clean here. Um, uh, but that's a story for a different time here. You can see some of the, the technical specifications here. Uh, but nevertheless, if you're into getting a, uh, a mechanical keyboard, I would recommend getting uh, this one here. Now, the thing is, is that if I do go to the buy now here, um, uh, you know, you do get the option here. Now, the thing is, is that the, the, the cherry ones are more expensive here. But personally, I would just go with the brown here. So for $80, I think this is a wonderful deal. You'll have... 
this keyboard for a very, very long time. It has the numpad. It feels really good to type on. And the thing is, is that if you if you do like having that click sound, um, I do know some writers really do like the click sound. So the red one is actually pretty noisy. Um, I haven't personally tried the blue one, but if you really like the click sound, uh, then you can do that here. But personally, I uh, if, especially if you're doing tutorials, I would go with the brown one just because apparently it is the most quiet one. Uh, but nevertheless here, uh, it is really good. It adds, um, it looks good, it feels good, and the quality seems to be pretty good here as well. Now, uh, some people, they really like to, like the idea of picking up a mechanical keyboard for the day here. I know that Tech Lead has like a, a shelf of keyboards. That's not a bad idea. You can pick out the keyboard that you want for your day. And this is a great keyboard to have on your shelf here. And in fact, I might even do that myself here. I might pick up a new keyboard uh, and just kind of use it for the day here. Uh, but you know, for recording, um, generally I like to, um, uh, to do something more quieter, especially if you're selling a tutorial, because a lot of people find the clicking annoying. But if you're doing YouTube, perhaps it's not that bad of an idea. And remember, with tutorials, you're going to get people saying a bunch of different things uh, for for uh, for everything here. So, in conclusion, is the K845 Mechanical Illuminated Keyboard a good keyboard? I would say it's an absolute buy. And if you haven't tried a mechanical keyboard, I would highly recommend starting with this one, as it is a very quality one and it doesn't break the bank here. Now, unless you're a huge gamer, I would just go with one of the red, blue, or brown option, considering which one you want. If you, if you're, if you just want a satisfying regular keyboard click sound, go with the red. If you really want that click and satisfying click sound, go with the blue. And if you want something quiet, go with the brown. It's completely up to you. Uh, unless you're a hardcore gamer, I would not do the cherry uh, ones. Uh, I got the cherry red one. It actually is pretty good here, but then again, I don't really need that APM boost here. But that is my review of the K845 Mechanical keyboard from Logitech. I want to know your thoughts down below. Do you like mechanical keyboards? Which one's your favorite? Please post in the comments down below. I actually don't get enough comments on this channel, so please uh, definitely leave a comment down below. So if you really like this channel, I highly recommend pledging for this project here. GammaScript is an app that allows you to keep notes and it allows you to have coding syntax. So if you've ever forgotten something, when uh, forgotten some code, you can write down your code. It is the number one tool you wanna have if you wanna learn to code or if you're a huge coder yourself. And if you're an entrepreneur, it's a great place to have notes here. The more you pledge, the more courses you get as well as you get the app here. All of these rewards stack this this Kickstarter is ending soon, so please pledge today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.